and welcome to another edition of Business Hub. I am Rejoice Adoye. On today's edition of Business Hub, we will be talking about Massa. I know you'll be wondering what Massa is all about. Massa or Weina, or also known as Hausa Rice Cake, is a northern delicacy, mostly prepared in the northern part of Nigeria. Massa is gotten from Tuon rice, and Tuon rice is usually used to prepare Tuon Shinkafa. In the northern part of Nigeria, Massa is used in ceremonies, ceremonies like weddings, and also during the festive period, festive periods like the Sala. Massa can be eaten as a snack or an appetizer before the meal. Massa can be prepared by blending raw rice, maize, granite, or cowpea. Behind me today is Musa who will be giving us an overview of how Massa is being prepared and the patronage thus far. Are you looking for a place to change your wardrobe or you're willing to extend hands of love through wears or shoes? Then visit Liberty Boutique for your Italian shoes, California wears of all kinds. We have jeans, shirts, and t-shirts at affordable price. Locate us at Bida Plaza, Block 24, Shop 4, opposite Federal Polytechnic Bida, or call us on 070-3712-8555 or 0813-7128-554, Liberty Boutique, the home of wares. Good evening, Mr. Good evening. Um, business. Fine. Uh, please, we are here for us. We, we want to know how this matter is being prepared. Can you please give us an insight of how it's being prepared? Yes, it's being prepared from rice, mixture of uh, white rice and uh, foreign rice. So, you're going to soak it. After soaking it, um, you make it to be soft for grinding. Then um, you, keep, you you're going to take it for grinding. Then after grinding it, you're going to leave it for some time so that it's got fermented. Or easy way, you can put your rising agent so that it's going to do that fast. Then after it rises, you you're gonna put your frying tools on the fire like you can see I'm doing. So you put oil, then you start frying. For how many hours do you soak this rice? A minimum of five hours. A minimum of five hours. Okay. Um, how has it been tossed back? Oh, you know, in every, every business, you need to be patient. So it's a gradual process. And for a new business or a new location like this, you need to test run the market and see what people likes and um, you know what to give them you know if it's good for for the particular location or then you're gonna increase your hands or if they didn't like that such since massa is of different type you're going to change it to another type for them so that they can test it and see but I believe with the one we are preparing, people like it, they love it, they are buying it and they are eating it. But just that the awareness for now is low. So and we are working on increasing the awareness on it. You can prepare masa with rice, it can be done with alkama, it can be done with giru, it can be done with dawa. And it can be done with flour too. So, but the particular one which people like, most is the one prepared with rice because of, um, let me see, uh, the mode of preparation of that is so special and um, apart from that, the test is so unique. That's why people love eating uh, rice masa. So um, this masa, how is it eaten? What do people eat it with? I... We have different mood. We have snacks masa, we have the one with soup. We have the one you can eat with chicken, there's beef masa, depending on how you prepare it. It has its own different method of preparation. From all these um, options you've mentioned, the beef, the chicken, the soup, the pepper, which do you think uh, the people around here prefer? 
I think is the the one with soup. They're eating it much. You didn't ask of me to. You didn't tell me to cook meat. What prompted you to start this uh, Masa business? Is it maybe because uh, there was no job or you had your other reasons or you have passion for things like this? Actually, I have passion for it because I'm, I think from my teenage, I love business. So even when I graduated from school, I don't even bother looking for a job. So I just invent in doing business. So. All right, thank you. Uh, what uh, challenge have you faced? It's a new business and we need to be patient due to the level of awareness and um, apart from that the way the way things have been going the economic and uh, uh, every other challenge for now so we need to manage the situation the market is not as expected but we need to keep doing it until the awareness go very far so but for now we thank god so um, what are you doing to raise this awareness? Do you have uh, branches elsewhere or are you, do, okay, do you take your business outside, outside from the school area? Do people from outside patronize you, like the lecturers or the indigents of this town? Yeah. Actually, for now, we have a plan on that, but we have not really implemented because of some certain reasons. How much do you think someone would need to start a business like this? Hey, you know, we have it of varieties. This is a gas fry. And you know, in getting set, it's setting uh, up this kind of equipment or instrument is going to spend at least like 45 to 50,000 because it's a gas fry. But if it's a local fry, I think within 15 to 20,000 you can set up a business like that or like this. So that's the capital needed for this kind of business. Okay, thank you very much. Um, how, what advice do you have for students who want to start a business like this? Well, I will tell them it's a very nice business and is a profitable business is something to invent in because um, it's really, really really make a lot of uh, turn, turn I mean it's 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 making a lot of turnover and apart from that one is going to enjoy it and is less stress in preparing there is very very less stress in preparing it how much do you sell one one is 15 naira. It goes for 15 naira. Okay. And I also want to ask, so what do you think is the secret to successive, uh, successful massa business? Quality. Because there's a lot of massa outside there. But I believe because of the quality we have and um, our mode of preparation and the way we do our own things in a different way, I think is one of the major success in our own business because it's unique the taste is perfect and the quality in it is different i am at miss those that patronize this special delicacy called masa i'll be asking them some few questions on this special delicacy Hello, what's your name? Uh, my name is Tessie. Is this your first time or you have been patronizing this delicacy? For this is my first time. I was just passing by then. I got attracted to the aroma. So I just let me test it out. So the aroma attracted you? Yes. And it's very, very nice. So how do you describe the taste? Is it what you... Is it, is it, does it taste like the aroma itself? Yes, it does. It's very nice. It's okay. And how do you prefer your masa, with soup or with pepe? Um, I think the soup is okay. Yes, I like the soup. Thank you very much. Sanu Malam. Sanu. Amene Sunanka. Sunana Aja Patrick. Aja Patrick, tun shekara na ka fara cin masa ko waina. Shekara biyu. Shekara biyu. Me Me yasa ka fara cin masa? 
na so nshi so se wannan aboki na na yana yi su yana yi shi da kyau shi ne yana ci so se ka ka fin so masa da miya ko da burkunu ko da suga ko da naman kaza una una so shi da da miya ana ana samu miya da da nama miya ba naman kaza ba miya da nama wato yanzu kun ji daga wurin malam patrick inda ya fada mana we yana son masan shi da miya hello uh, please what is your name precious precious how what attracted you to eating masa before now i i really don't like it i've been hearing about masa masa but i said to give it a try one day and i really love this is really is a very nice delicacy and um enjoyable and as i can see you are having your masa with pepper why pepper why not soup or any other sauce everybody knows what he or she likes i really don't like this sauce the mian tau she soup i don't like it so i prefer using pepper or sugar i enjoy it most using those two thank you very much as we have heard from from some customers that patronize masa a lot Masa is something that is actually very delicious. Apart from people from the northern parts of Nigeria, other people from other parts of the country also partake of this delicious delicacy. Okay, now that everything has been said, I would love to take a bite of this delicious delicacy. Wow! It is hot and actually delicious. Masa is something that can easily be prepared. Within an hour or within 5 hours, you can actually have your masa prepared. And you can take your masa either with soup, pepper, with chicken sauce or with beef sauce. Anyhow, you can enjoy your masa. Undoubtedly, masa is a well-balanced and nutritious food, very good and healthy for the body. It is often said that what you are looking for in Sokoto is actually inside your Shokoto. With 1000 naira, you can actually start a ma you can actually buy a masa pan. You mustn't buy the big one like the Musa pan. Approximately with approximately 10000 naira, masa is set already and you can start your business and shake the world with your business. And that's just about the size of today's edition on Business Hub. Until then, do make it a date with us same time same station i remain rejoice at the